What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kaylin Ryan, here with Where's the Buzz. I'm here with the cast from The One That Got Away. I really want to get back into you guys' outfits. Was this on purpose? I received photos from both of them. Got obviously. you. So you, okay. You so, so, yeah, I like okay. This the day of, I, I won't like, lie. I like, I like, I like. First of all, let the audience know your names and what brought you to this show. Cool. Real briefly. Yeah. I'll go yeah. first. Yeah, Nigel Sidnor uh, from Baltimore, live yeah. in LA. Uh, what brought me to the show was just intent, right? So when mm -hmm. you think about your being intentional about life or being intentional about um, work or any other piece of your life, mm -hmm. uh, I've never really been intentional about love. So I have an opportunity to come on the show, be intentional about love, yeah. learn a lot about myself, and um, see what could come of it. It really excited me. What an open heart. I like that. How about you? Yeah, my name is Vince. I'm 31, born and raised in LA. Hey. Hey. And <laughs> I guess Bumble, because they, that's, that's how they found me. They found oh, me on Bumble. Oh, happy to be here. Go for so, it. So I'm Jeff. I'm 29. I live in New York. And I got reached out to from a casting company. I previously was speaking with them about wow. other things that I thought were not the best fit for me mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you have fun with that. And yeah. this felt genuine, it felt right, it yeah. felt like kind hearted. And I was excited about this one. Well, it seems like you all have different journeys of how you arrived here, but with the same motive to find love. It's very interesting that the show's premise is to bring back hopefuls from your past that you met in passing, dated in the past, or just met or been a friend of yours. Um, what was the most nerve-wracking part about this experience with the unknown, between the fog and the forest? What was the most un, like unsettling part about meeting these people that you don't know who's walking through? Well, I think it's two sides of it, right? So when you think about unsettling, it's you have to get rid of one to get another. Right, so yeah, so it's like it's a trade off. Um, oh, yeah, it's almost like what are the rules of the game? Yeah, right? so it's like okay, cool, now I'm dating two amazing people, but yep. if I give up one, what's behind that door? Oh, I'm going down that shoot. portal, you know, your hands are really sweating. So, you don't know you if you no give idea. up this, that what may come through it is something not up to par from the one you just gave away. And who could have said and yes, right? Like, who would even come on a dating show? Exactly, who home? could it be? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Did you guys have an idea yeah. of who it might have been, knowing the premise, like maybe that one I met at the grocery store, or that girl from college, or that guy from, no? Well, no I'm, idea? There are certain girls that like, you know, that I still keep in touch with. Right. But like, I, you know, I didn't think that any of them would come on the show. And, and the girls that did end up coming, like I never would have guessed, like mm. literally shocked. The like, show did a great job of making sure you guys had no clue. <laughs> oh yeah, they <laughs> deep. They've been so watching deep. you guys all your life. That's so weird. Yeah, <laughs> kind of so weird. Yeah. Come on. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What's without telling the audience so much? What has been your most fun experience this whole time? I would say like my favorite date. Yeah. Um, I would say is wigs, wine, and wings. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you threw on a wig, had some wine I love a good pairings wig. with yep. like different <laughs> chicken tenders, chicken wings. It was great. So, awesome. I would say that was my favorite date. If this show gets picked up and renewed, as I think it will, it's very unique. I've never heard anything like it. What advice would you give new contenders or castmates in the future to come in open hearted? What advice would you give them? I would say, you know, do so with an open heart and like mm -hmm. be ready to receive love. You know, like some people they'll they'll come in with like deal breakers and they'll they'll maybe just like ask people like right away. I think yeah. letting people you know give them a chance and like see how they've changed because people that come through the portal maybe mm -hmm. you knew them in high school but they've changed. Like we've yeah. all changed we so all evolved. much, yeah. and I think we all deserve like a second chance to like have a new impression of, on someone, right? So I think just like being open minded is is definitely key. Well, I think that about wraps up our time. You guys have been delightful. Thank you for making me welcomed and talking with Where's the Buzz. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where's the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we used to be a single.